What's up, DCS crew? You're probably wondering why I have these two things in front of us uh, when it's a knife review. Well, you probably know what this is. This is a box from Best Tech Knives. Uh, I received this in the mail, and I'm pretty psyched to go ahead and show this off uh, to people that have a lot to do with the uh, item on the right. Now, for those who know, uh, you know what this is. And for it, just give me a moment while I explain. Uh, for those who don't, this is Noble Otter's uh, Shave Soap. Uh, this is called the Noir Vanille. Um, this is black tea and vanilla uh, scented shave soap. Uh, this is artisan shave soap from a very, very high quality, uh, well-known company within the wet shaving industry. Now, um, wet shavers use a variety of things to be able to go ahead and mow down that hair on their face uh, quite often. And they don't use cartridge razors. That's like putting ketchup on a steak. Don't even talk to a wet shaver about using a cartridge razor. Um, typically what they'll use is a single blade razor a single edge or a double edge razor, uh, which is what I use. And sometimes they will even use a straight edge. Now, um, a straight edge razor is basically like those cutthroat razors that you see, uh, you know, the, the, the barber of Seville, uh, the demon barber of, of uh, was it Bleak Street? I think it is. <laughs> um, he used that type of thing. And um, there are a lot of different types. And one that is very common is called the uh, Spanish tip. And the reason why is because of a certain characteristic that is used on those uh, straight razors. So Best Tech actually uh, partnered up with a guy named Jason Clark, who does a lot of high quality customs and uh, came out with a production version of his uh, Spanish tip razor. And here it is uh, in its full glory for you to check out. Now, I don't recommend that you shave with this, but it is a really cool design. We're going to talk a little bit more about it after the intro play, so stay tuned. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. And uh, if you guys haven't uh, considered checking out Noble Otter's products, they are really good. They smell great off of the tub. Um, you can actually put this in a bowl and lather it up with you know, uh, a shave brush and then just apply it onto yourself and then shave with it. Very, very good quality um, soap, uh, shave soap, and they do have a matching aftershave for this. I do really uh, recommend that you check that out at Noble Otter dot com or at places like the razor company or uh the handlebar supply that's usually where i get my stuff so i figured i'd pass that information along to you guys too they do have a variety of different scents so that's my shameless plug for noble otter now moving on to the uh, piece du resistance <laughs> this is right here yeah there we go <laughs> a little teaser. Uh, that is the Spanish tip razor from Best Tech Knives, as you can see right here. Now, typically what you would do is you'd have a non-locking uh, straight razor and you'd use uh, that, you'd hold it at a certain angle. Uh, it would be a hollow ground blade and you would use it to uh, basically mow down whatever it is you had on your face. Uh, and there are a lot of uh, barbers who use a similar style, uh, which is like a sh uh, shavette, which has like a, a disposable blade that you would add in, tighten, and then, you know, use it very similarly to a straight razor. Um, but in this case, we're going to just use, uh, we're just going to talk about what a lot of the older school, you know, if you go to the old uh, school barber shops with the old guys and I used to go to one with a bunch of old school Cubans and stuff. They would throw out the, uh, uh, the you know, the carbon steel um, straight razor and they would, you know, touch up all of the different little areas of, you know, the beard and the sideburns and, you know, even just at the top. They call it the tape, uh, the tape line or, or the taper line uh, or just above the forehead to kind of line up everything and just get rid of just little loose hairs with extreme precision. And um, what I was talking about earlier about the Spanish tip. Um, basically, you have a, a couple of different versions that are designated by how round or how tapered in the the, uh, the tip is. Now, this one is tapered inward and that designates the uh, Spanish tip version. Now, um, the straight razor typically does not come with a, uh, a coated blade and it certainly doesn't come with M390 steel, this does, but it does come with a hollow ground blade and this does not. If you look at it very closely, let me see if I can put, there we go. 
um, you'll see that it is a flat ground blade, meaning it's ground very, very thin and it progressively gets thicker and thicker and thicker, the grind uh, all the way to the top. It's nice and symmetrical on both sides. And a hollow ground blade would be something more of, uh, it would kind of like come out basically like this. It would be very thin from the middle and then just come out and kind of look like, kind of like a Y, if you will. And uh, this is a locking blade. This is a liner lock. Um, it utilizes titanium scales on both sides, and you do have uh, slabs on both sides right here uh, with titanium hardware. Um, interestingly enough, you don't see the pivot on here. You'd have to go ahead, I'm assuming, uh, remove uh, these, these uh, scales right here to get to the liner and be able to go ahead and access the pivot. Um, but the, uh, the scales down here, okay, which are half black and titanium and then half uh, this uh, kind of scale added on. They do come in different variants. I've seen micarta. Um, there is another uh, variant and I forget which one it is, but then they have this uh, carbon fiber that's meshed in with a uh, kind of a copper swirl to it. And that's why I actually took out uh, that Noble Otter uh, shave soap because if you see it has that black and kind of like copperish goldish look and it's very very similar to that of the uh, Spanish chip razor now this does lock okay and you do get full functionality of this as it rides on bearings great great action uh, this is a pretty large blade for what it is and I'm gonna go ahead and show off the uh, specs really quick and uh, off to the right while I go ahead and I get a couple of knives to be able to go ahead and show as far as dimensions are concerned. So now that that's taken care of, let me just go ahead and put this right here and show a couple of knives that I have nearby. This is the Kershaw bare knuckle. As you can see, it is about the same size of the bare knuckle. Here is the Kershaw cryo. This is the large version uh, with micarta scales and D2 steel. I have, let's see here, what else, what else? Oh, let's see, let's show a little guy. Uh, this is the little Main Street from uh, from Dirk Pinkerton, also designed by Concept Knives. Okay, what else do I have? What do I have in my pocket? Ah, here we go. We have the Hogue Knives Deca, USA design, 20 CV steel by um, Mr. Elishowitz from Hogue Knives, fantastic design. This is the uh, Kershaw Dividend in 420 high carbon steel. And what else, what else do we have? Uh, another Kershaw here, we have the Atmos. This is a Dmitry Sinkovich uh, design. We have another Best Tech here. This one is called the Best Tech uh, Delta. Interesting little folder from uh, Poltergeist Works. And last but not least, we have the Swags designed uh, CJRB Mylea in uh, Artisan Cutlery's RPM 9 Steel. Okay, so. What are my thoughts on this knife? Well, the truth is, uh, I do want to go ahead and show a couple of things off. And, and remember, this is more of a niche knife. I don't see a lot of people uh, EDCing this, but this is a really unique option uh, to add to your collection. Or if you are a wet shaver, this is a fantastic item to, to be able to EDC. Now, I will tell you, it is a little pricey, um, but if you have, you know, custom razors, like something from ALE or Max Sprecher, you know, or even, you know, some high-end Boker, uh, uh, you know, straight razors, then this shouldn't be that big of an issue. I mean, if you shave with one of those, you should be able to EDC one of these. I'm just saying, right? <laughs> so, and as you can see, I mean, the, uh, the scales are just fantastic. You have that blackened titanium that just looks, it, it looks, it has kind of like a goldish tone to it. And I'm wondering if they maybe you put a, a, like a copper wash in it and then they blackened it and stone washed it afterwards because it meshes really well, uh, particularly with this uh, kind of copper swirl inside of the carbon fiber. I think that that was really, really nice. Now it is tapped for only right-hand carry, as you can see here, you don't have a left side option. And uh, like I said before, you don't have a pivot, but you have quite a few screws on each side. So you can have four on this side, turn it over, and there's gonna be another three here and two down here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, that's it. It does have a, uh, sorry about that folks, I had a little bit of a malfunction with the video, but now back to it. Now, um, we do have a titanium backspacer that is also um, uh, black washed and uh, kind of have that, kind of that, that, that wash that the, uh, the titanium scales, upper scales uh, have as well. Um, the jimping on the flipper is actually very well done. It's not too, uh, it's not too rough. It's not too smooth. 
so you can see over here. Let me see if I can get, there we go, okay. And then I'm gonna give you a profile on each side. So here is the clip side. Here's the front. You can see it's nicely centered. Here is the show side. Here's the rear. Here it is deployed on one side. And here it is deployed on the other. Now you do have the insignia for Jason Clark on one uh, one area. That's the, the cross with the J and the C, which is pretty interesting. And that does remind me of a certain Jewish carpenter that I would uh, like to go ahead and point out. In fact, JC does stand for Jewish Carpenter too, which is pretty interesting. Um, and M390 steel, this is a black washed M390 blade. And you do have, uh, as a result of this very flat um, uh, blade edge you have here, it is gonna be very similar to that of a Warncliffe. The only difference being is typically what you would see on a Warncliffe, and I did show it earlier with uh, the Little Main Street, but I will show it here with the Rogue is that you will have um, the edge go straight and then it, it ends in a very acute tip. Uh, this one, the tip is actually gonna be much, much stronger than this one right here. Uh, for the simple fact is um, you cannot basically <laughs> puncture with this one. You can, but it's just gonna cause more of a minor inconvenience than this one, which will puncture. And this is more like of a self-defense style blade and a, and a utility tool type, uh, type blade. This is the Kaiser Rogue, by the way. Uh, from Dirk Pinkerton. He makes excellent, excellent work with uh, blades. But um, back to this one from uh, Jason Clark. Um, this uh, kind of a Warncliffe style blade, it lends really well for, um, you know, just general utility, but, it, it, you know, it's really more of a niche design. Um, and that's why he designs customs. And that's the reason why something like this, uh, I think is gonna sell well within a niche market. And, and I did want to go ahead and bring up uh, the wet shavers because the wet shaving community, I mean, they do invest in a lot of really, really cool stuff. And I think this is something that uh, a lot of people that are wet shavers, whether they shave with a single edge, a, d a double edge uh, razor like I do, or even a straight edge uh, like this particular um, style folding knife, uh, I think that they're gonna find that this is a really cool addition to their EDC collection. So that being said, um, if y'all were gonna you know, consider any of the variants, I would check out this particular one. Um, personally, this wouldn't be something that I would uh, EDC. I'm much too used to, uh, uh, you know, the style of knives that have something like a draw point or a spear point design, you know, that sort of thing like this uh, particular knife, or even a lot of the other blades that you saw here. A lot of the ones that I put here are ones that I regularly EDC. I'm not always trying to put like the newest one into my, you know, into my pocket and say, oh yeah, that's my EDC. Well, the truth is when I need something, I do carry, you know, uh, a lot of different things depending on the task like this little guy right here. Small, but really gets the job done. It's a great little tool. This here, uh, I mean, it's a, it's definitely a conversation starter. I would hate, to, <laughs> I mean, you can probably shave with it, but I really wouldn't recommend it. It would probably be very, very awkward to be able to have to, you know, work with a blade that has been locked like this. Um, so <laughs> I would not make that recommendation, but I will tell you, um, it flies open and it just falls shut. Um, because of the fact that it's on very, very smooth ball bearings. Now, um, I'm just to kind of show you one more time. I'm just gonna get my hand out of the way and just shake it a little bit. And there it goes. And it makes a very satisfying kind of click towards the end. Oh, so nice. So that being said, um, this is the Spanish tip razor. Uh, this is the production model of the Jason Clark design. Uh, go ahead and check out some of his other stuff if you haven't seen it yet. And be sure to go ahead and check out a little bit more of the best tech catalog that I have uh, reviewed in the past. I've reviewed stuff from Ostop Hell. I've reviewed stuff from Adam Purvis, a lot of their internal uh, items as well. And I'm carrying one um, lately that I don't have with me because it's upstairs. I lent it to my girlfriend and she took it to bed with her. Um, it is the Eye of Raw. I'm gonna be uh, posting my uh, my thoughts on that as a long term because I've been using the hell out of it and I freaking love it. But that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here and say, um, do check this out if you are interested in something very unique uh, from uh, Best Tech. They are coming out with some really, really cool stuff. And uh, this is just one of them. Uh, again, that's a front profile, so you can go ahead and see what that blade looks like. Let me see if I can get something. There we go. And uh, yeah, here's the Spanish tip, guys. <laughs>
So that being said, just remember, you know, whether you choose to EDC this, or maybe you want something just a little bit smaller, you know, or maybe something even smaller than that. <laughs> Let's check out the little main street here. And this is the Delta, by the way. Uh, no matter what size or what kind of, you know, uh, blade shape you use, what materials, just remember, if you EDC, think of DCS. You guys have been great. Thank you so much for checking out this uh, unique blade in this video. Shout out to uh, Best Tech and Noble Otter, by the way, uh, for the awesome products. And I hope to see you guys again next time. Uh, in fact, you know what? Before I go, please let me know what you think about this knife. Uh, sound off in the comments below. Let me know uh, if it's a pass or add to basket. <laughs> if you like this video, feel free to hit that like button. And if you loved it, feel free to hit that subscribe. I'll see you next time. Take care.